Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm the Lux. And if you're new, thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate that. All right, let's talk. Uh, let's talk about Five Two Toys. Yeah, let's do another review. So I was going through, uh, you know, Chosen Prime, BBTS, all those sites and everything, and looking for Five Two Toys because I'm down the rabbit hole. I love it. By now, if you don't know about my channel, uh, if you follow my channel, you know I do. I love the Five Two Toys stuff. Well, this is something new, something different. I haven't really never uh, found before. It's called a fantasy box, and I think I did some little, there's a little story down here, which I'll show you down there in a little bit uh, whenever we look at the uh, figure itself. Um, it's like Sinjo is her name, and it's Shanji, Shanji 3, and she's like a, she lives with the moon, so she might be like a moon goddess. She actually uh, turns into a moon pie. That's what her little shell is back there. You can see that, but very nicely artwork and everything, and I like the uh, stuff inside right here. It's like a like a stairway or something like that. It's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, not a whole lot I could find on the internet, but this does have a little backstory, like, you know, ancient Chinese gazed the moon and thought. So I think it's anime. Um, if you don't mind, if you, if you know, if you do know a lot about this stuff, hit me up in the comments, tell me what it is, you know. Um, but beautiful artwork. I love that. It looks pretty cool. I think she's like a, you know, moon goddess or something in uh, anime. I don't know a whole lot about anime, but it is five two toys and I had to get it. But there's uh, some more, like I said, the fantasy box or something like that. But yeah, I'll uh, uh, let y'all read that. I'll, you know, you can, I'll show you that when I get down there on the thing. So yeah, pretty cool. Nice little box. I think I bricked it so it didn't really stay together. I have to tape it together, but pretty cool. But yeah, let's just get right to the review. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right, I'll take a quick look at what she comes with. So she comes with a couple sets of hands. So you got one with a kind of um, open, you know, grasping or like, you know, flicking outwards or something like that. Gets that right there. Uh, she gets one with a just open up, you know, kind of a hand like that. She gets two of those and she has one couple of uh, uh, pointing fingers too as well. And it's just white plastic, nothing special. So she gets that. She also comes with this little card thing right there, which is the uh, box art you know, on the front. Looks really good. I love the art. Looks really nice. Like she said, it's a like she's the goddess of the moon or something. So very nicely done. Then on the back, that's the little thing she comes in. The uh, moon pie. Kind of looks like a urinal cake, but got some Chinese or something. I don't know what this says. And then you get instructions, which is pretty cool. They're pretty nice. You know, once again, the same artwork. And a uh, nice step-by-step, uh, -step, pretty good. And like I said, I'm gonna show you what it says. It does have like a little, say when I say a backstory or something like that. So if you want to, see if I can, whoops, okay. All right, so if you want to pause for the cause to read that right there, you can, kind of like a backstory. So you know, you know Chinese gauge at the moon, uh, 38 kilometer journey to the moon, brought a love to the moon fairy. All that stuff. So there you go. If you want to pause that, pretty cool. So yeah, that is all she comes with. And there she is in her moon pie thing. So like I said, it, so it looks like a urinal cake, but pretty nice. Like I said, it's got some Chinese words on there, or Japanese. And so pretty nice. And you got there and over there. So it's just basically translucent plastic. And there you go. That's, you know, that's it. Just like the cube mode is nothing special, but... There you go. That's her moon pie. Real quick, there's the scale with her. There's a legend scale, magic square prowl, and you got the uh, chug red alert from Siege. All right, let's see what's inside. Let's transform the moon pie goddess. Look at that. So basically, basically you just want to open this up, take the top layer off, and there she is. Oh, it's the moon goddess. So what you're going to do is you're going to whip out a leg right there and then flip out her foot or a little footsie. She does got little roller blades on. <laughs> kick it to the 90s. All right. And kick that up. 
And come on, get the toe out. Just get the toe. There you go. All right. Now, I'm going to get her arms out. She has these little um, ribbons. I guess you want to call them ribbons. That's pretty cool. Let's see if I can get this out. Okay. There we go. And you want to put this, move this, and then move this upwards right here. Like that. And there's her ribbon. Do the same thing up here. Like that. Untab it. Okay. Move this ribbon around like this. And there you go. And you just take this backpack and you can... There are a couple ways you can do it. You just untab that. Um, you know, you can... Situate it any way you want to. It's, it's you know, she has a huge backpack. It just, you know, it helps her stand and everything. Um, you can twist these around and use them as kind of roller blade things to help her scooch along like that. And then there. And then you can put this down. And she does have these little antenna things or something. Supposed to be her hair, I guess. I think is what they said. So you move that down there, and then you can situate this. So basically, that's it. That's how you transform her, um, like that. Golly, the feet don't want to stay. There you go. So that's basically how you transform her. Like I said, she is back heavy, but she can stand up pretty well on her own without the help of that. But you can situate. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit. And you can also take this thing right here and you can kind of make like a cloud little effect, which is pretty cool. And you just um, pull these out and then pull these out and then just kind of situate them like this. And like I said, you can have like a cloud effect or something like that. I'll get that situated better. But yeah, you can put it in front of her. And kind of like a cloud thing. So there you go. That's how you transform her. Let me clean her up a little bit and I'll be right back. And there is the moon goddess herself. I think it's Sinjo or Sinji or Shanji. I don't know the name, but looks pretty cool. Like I said, she is very back heavy because she does have that whole shell on the back of her. But it does help her stand up. You can prop it up. For her. And I guess it does have wheels. So I guess if you want to roll around, she does have wheels on the back of her feet too as well. So she can roll it around, you know, ride around the moon or something like that. And like I said, this little thing right here is kind of like a display piece with the uh, moon or with clouds. So it kind of looks like a cloud feature. So that's pretty sweet. We'll put that over to the side and everything. Now, she does have a little hole um, underneath in her booty right there. You can tell. And uh, I use my uh, little sound wave thing. So if you have a, a little display stand... Uh, you can uh, display her like this, and that's pretty cool. So I like that. So yeah, that's very nice. So you can get her in some different poses and everything. So pretty cool. Looking forward to taking pictures with that. So we'll take a quick look at her. We'll you know real quick. We'll take a quick look of her real quick. Jeebus, come on now. Beautiful face sculpt. I love that. Love the big, big blue eyes. You got purple. You got black paint, you got kind of a greenish tint also as well, and you got the white for the pupils, some white paint, some nice light, uh, light blue paint right there. And you got these little, look like uh, tentacles coming from the side, and you do got some nice white plastic. You got the chest area painted pink, and you got these little nice uh, white plastic, pink plastic, and you got the kind of white plastic for the hands, look really good. This does flip up a little bit. So that is pretty cool. That should be tabbed in an air. Right there. Yeah, that tabs in right there. So that goes up and down. So very nice. You got the legs right here. Once again, the little wheels on the back. But beautiful head sculpt like that. Then, you, like I said, you do have this. You can situate it. Um, there's different ways you can do it. You can move that down a little further and move that out like that. And you got these little ribbon things. These up here, and there's some, I guess these are more ribbons. 
Uh, you got the uh, white paint right here. Got a nice little design. Uh, both of them, I think, are the same design. No, I'm sorry, different design. So that's pretty cool. So you got some layers. Now you can take these off and place them in here. Uh, they do attach in here, so you don't have to have them on there. They do just uh, untab right there. And you can change out the hands. They're on little ball pegs. Be careful. This one is really loose right here. Uh, but yeah, you just pop off that and you can. And these move around. We'll do some articulation too. So you look down, not much. Look up quite a bit, side to side. These little things, the tentacles get in the way. And you do get a little attitude as well. So that's pretty cool. These do move around, uh, going back and forth, up and down. This moves up here too as well. The little ribbons. Uh, the arms you can go up to there, uh, get up to about up to there. You know, you get in the way with all this stuff. And like I said, the back stuff gets in the way a lot. That's a, a shame, but it's all right. These do move uh, like this. You do have a more than 90 degrees for the elbow bend, which is good. You do got a bicep swivel, swivel for the hand, all that wonderful stuff just because it's on a ball peg. Um, no waist swivel. I think they could have gave her a waist swivel, but she doesn't have one. So, and I like the face, you really, she really have a mouth. You see a little nose, a little perky little nose. I love the eyes. Those are beautiful. Uh, like I said, no uh, waist swivel. You can, uh, you can do the Van Dam all day, every day. Uh, it's supposed to have this small one showing. Not the big one. There you go. Uh, you do have a thigh swivel, so that's good. You do have, uh, you can lift up all the way up to there. Not much back, because like I said, that gets in the way. Uh, you do got a nine, more than 90 degree for the knee bend, which is nice. Uh, toe tilt up, toe tilt, a uh, little down, up and down. No rocker. So, but nicely done. I like the pink. I like how the pink and the white kind of, uh, you know, fade in. So it goes from pink to a nice white. I like that nice blue there too as well. So, and these are supposed to be the uh, hill spurs, but they keep moving up. All right. And then there's the back, like I said, it is a whole lot of stuff back there. And you can situate it, you can, you know, lift these up and have them, have them this way, like that if you want to, kind of move this up. She is back heavy, kind of, I mean, she can still stand up. I got her to stand up with just her legs and feet, but it does help to prop up that stuff. So yeah, you can stand her up. Uh, she's kind of leaning over a little bit, but it's not terrible. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Five two toys, fantasy box or fantasy stuff. This is the moon pie uh, goddess, and there she is, real quick next to uh, Magic Square Ultra Magnus, New Age Megatron, and then New Age uh, Die Clone Mirage. So she's about the same height as about uh, Megatron. So there you go, scale. Crapper Gunners, crappy tool paper, some pepper spray, squeaks, Care Bears, and kicker for more scale. All right, let's talk about some 5-2 toys. I hope the name is Shan-Chi, I think. Shan-Chi 3. She's a moon goddess. She's a moon pie. Um, overall, pretty cool, I guess. You know, it's fine. Not one of my favorite 5-2 toys. I uh, definitely love the Beast Box stuff better. Um, but it's pretty cool. Um, there's a series. There's supposed to be more. I don't know if they're out right now, but uh, there's supposed to be a couple more come out uh, with the same kind of thing going on. I don't know if it's going to be the moon goddess. They might have like a sun goddess or something. That'd be pretty cool to go with her. That would be, you know, pretty nice. Yeah, overall, she's just fine. You know, the moon cake thing, it's fine. Or the moon pie, whatever, it's all right. Transformation's real easy. Shouldn't take you that long to figure it out. Um, she looks all right. Uh, not a lot of paint. I love the head sculpt. Beautiful head sculpt. Love the beautiful eyes. That nice green in there. You got the purple eyeshadow. Looks really good. Uh, has a little dimple, little nose, no mouth or anything like that. Like the little uh, antennas or whatever they're called, the... Uh, yeah, I mean, they move around pretty cool. Uh, but not a whole lot of paint, but it's pretty good. Now, there does some tolerance issues, and she does have a huge backpack. You know, it gets in the way. Um, as far as articulation, she does have decent articulation. Kind of wish they would have gave her a, a waist swivel, a waist swivel 
Um, I think they could have gave her one, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I mean, just the bat packets in a way, you know, you have the kind of the wheel thing. Uh, I like the little cloud effect. That's pretty cool. You know, nice uh, little pictures to take with. Uh, some of the tolerances, like, you know, some of the ball joints are really loose. I, I can put some Kiki on there and uh, they'll fix that up real uh, easy. But uh, yeah, overall, she's pretty cool. You know, something different. You know, I thought, you know, I'd like to do, you know, review something different. Uh, so this is definitely different. Uh, but yeah, Fatu Toys, pretty cool. And uh, she's all right. So hit me up with some like, share, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. Hit me up with some comments. Like I said, if you know anything about this line or about her, the fiction or whatever. Like I said, I think it's anime. I don't know a whole lot about anime at all. Uh, but she's pretty cool. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. So hit me up. So, uh, so I guess I'll see you in the next 5 2 Toys review. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell, some 5 2 Toys. And good night, folks. Man, what's up, everybody? Oh, man, we got a girl. Heck yeah, what's up? I'm going to kick the baby. No, wait, wait, wait. How do you know about kicking the baby? Oh, I've heard. I've heard. My God. It does, does that count, chicken? Yeah, I mean, she says it. You know, somebody told her. All right. Golly, kick me in the face. All right. Ooh, load up to the clouds. The clouds. Yeah, that one's loose. I need to tighten that up. The clouds. All right. Good job, Fatu Toys.